Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom. Some of you might know me as Bowl of Salmon on Instagram. Today we're gonna talk about the Black Bay 58 and how this was supposed to be my one and only watch. Now before summer 2020 I wasn't really looking into purchasing a first serious timepiece. I couldn't see myself putting that amount of money down on one watch. And if I did, it had to be the perfect one. I guess I was surrounded by bad friends. First, my best mate told me he purchased a Rolex. He also told me he probably had to wait some years before he would actually own it. I had no idea what he was talking about at the time. A couple of months later, another friend sent me a wrist shot of his first watch. A Tudor Pepsi GMT. The truth? I didn't know Tudor, so I just checked their website. And there it was, the Black Bay 58. So I did what everyone does. I spent hours and hours online reading up on that one watch. The Black Bay ticked all the boxes, and here's why. First, love at first sight. There was nothing on the dial, bezel or bracelet that put me off. My first watch should have a timeless, vintage inspired, yet modern design. It needed to be sporty but not too sporty, dressy but not too dressy. Remember, I was going for a one watch collection. Now apparently I fell head over heels with one of the most popular releases in recent years and finding a steel version in stock was nearly impossible. So I did what any impatient fish would do. I purchased the leather version and I paid extra for the steel bracelet. And while I totally recommend getting this watch on the bracelet, it's only on the bracelet half the time. The other half you ask? Well, just have a look at the Tudor Watch Club Instagram page. The Black Bay is a total strap monster. Before I show you some of my favorite combinations, let's have a closer look at the watch and the specs first. The watch measures 39mm in diameter, it sits 11.9mm thick on the wrist and has an excellent lug to lug of 47mm. This being a modern reinterpretation of a dive watch, thanks to the screw down crown, it is waterproof up to 200 meters. Inside the watch we find a COSC certified in-house movement with a 70 hour power reserve. It features a unidirectional 60 click steel bezel in a matte black finish with gilded markings and numerals. Coming to my favorite part of the watch, under the low domed sapphire glass we find a stunning matte black dial. A gilt colored second track runs around the dial. At 12 o'clock we have the gold colored Tudor logo and at 6 o'clock we find three lines of text that never distract. The hands and hour plots are gold plated and filled with a white loom that glows green. Because of the snowflake shaped hour hand and it being so different in shape and size from the minute hand, it makes this really legible both day and night. So I promised some quick strap suggestions. Before we do that, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored in any way. These are just some of my favorite straps that I picked up along the past year. First up is this green premium Perlin strap by Watch Bandits. The fun thing about Perlin is that they are rather inexpensive and you can always find the perfect fit because they don't have any pre-punched holes. My favorite pairing for the Black Bay is this very light wearing adjustable single pass broad weave NATO by Watch Bandits. If you want to throw on some color, these Henwick Single Pass NATOs by Watch Gecko are the perfect option. If you are looking to get one good outdoor summerproof strap, a strap that should definitely be in your collection, it is this black tropical strap from B2. And before I start to sound like a cheap Telcel channel, there is one more strap I want to show you. This strap by Weltman Munich is a more exclusive offering in terms of price, but if you're looking for a more unique dressed up look, this one is the way to go. Okay, it's time to come to a conclusion after one year of ownership. I made a mistake. No, I'm not talking about the Black Bay. I just kept looking at other watches too. And I started an Instagram account. So it didn't stay a one watch collection very long. The Black Bay is bang for buck the best value for money in my collection. On certain weeks, it's the only watch that I'll wear. On other days, it can be my most neglected watch because there is no one purpose for it. But that is the strength of the Black Bay. It is good in every situation. So if you are on the fence about whether to buy this one or not, don't be. The Black Bay really can be that one perfect watch. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. 
If you did, likes and subscribes are really appreciated. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this watch. Leave a comment or come find me on Instagram. See you next time. Goodbye.